The Department of Environment and Natural Resources Secretary Roy Simatu personally inspects Estero de San Antonio de Abad in Manila ahead of the planned rehabilitation of Manila Bay. My Bermudez tells us why. Water quality monitoring checkers from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources took water samples from the Estero de San Antonio de Abad in Manila on Thursday. This during the inspection conducted by DNR Secretary Roy Simatu in preparation for the planned rehabilitation of Manila Bay. Simatu believes the said waterway is one of the main contributors to extreme pollution that's killing Manila Bay. Water samples taken from that side of Manila Bay will be brought to the agency's Environmental Management Bureau to determine the level of fecal coliform, nitrate, and phosphate nutrients present in the area. The stretch of Estero de San Antonio Abad leads to Manila Yacht Club and the U.S. Embassy. According to Simatu, coliform level is at the highest on the Ross Boulevard side of Manila Bay, which reaches to 333 most probable number or MPN. This is far higher than the safe level of 100 MPN recommended for swimming and recreational activities. The problem is it coming from Esteros in Metro Manila. Kung lumalabas kasi ngayon, di ba ang ating ano sa Manila Bay is 330 million ang coliform level in, in Manila Bay. The DENR discovered that surrounding establishments in Manila Bay have poor wastewater treatment facilities and wastewater coming from them directly flows to Manila Bay causing heavy pollution. These commercial facilities are specifically located in Taft Avenue to include hospitals, malls, hotels, and even one of Manila's main attractions, the Manila Zoo. The discharge comes from commercial in these areas. The DENR assessed that Manila Bay will be a massive work to do. Tahan ninyo dito yung mga ano, lahat ng mga mga establishments yan. Check their ano, their sewage system treatment plan. At saka kung meron silang ate ko ano, meron silang ECC. Check mo na tama nito. As part of the rehabilitation, silt curtains will be installed in every end of the creeks that dispose water directly to Manila Bay to filter the trash. Residents around the Manila Bay will be relocated to nearby provinces specifically to Bulacan and Cavite. Meanwhile, the DNR warns closure against establishments that disposes wastewater to Manila. The agency will convene all local executives in Metro Manila on January 15 together with the local officials in nearby provinces to discuss the master plan for the rehabilitation. The ANR hopes to see improvements in the quality of water in Manila Bay by the end of 2019. My Bermuda, it's UNTV News and Rescue, Manila.